I have a great topic that I want to talk about today and I'm really excited to get into this and it's talking about just realizing your potential and I, I, I can't wait to get into this because I think all too many times we look at other people we say I can't do that I can't have that we put people on a pedestal and I think that's a mistake because what we see is their end result we don't see the work that they put in behind the scenes to get to that point and this could apply gosh it could apply you know sports people we look up to you know athletes in the prime saying gosh I admire them but I could never do that actually possibly you could or people in the business world again you know to, to use some of the the more familiar names the Richard Branson's the Elon Musk's I mean yes they are extreme but we automatically I think we don't do we do a disservice to ourselves because we say I can't achieve that I can't do that and that's not necessarily the case and what I've learned in in more recent months is actually it's it's connected with with disciplines and it, it, what I've learned, it talks about two disciplines. First of all, it's a micro-discipline, which is what you commit to doing every day. And that results, if you commit to it, that can result in a macro-discipline, which is a state of flow that you get into. It just becomes the norm. And you could, you could relate this to going to the gym, for example. You know, we've all been there. We've always seen somebody, you know, better buffed up or in better shape or they got that six pack abs and you're like I can't do that yes you can guaranteed they that they did not start working to get that a week before that they put in the micro discipline every day to get to a point where they make it look easy and I think that can relate to so many parts of our lives and I actually got to experience that firsthand a few days ago uh, as you know, if you've been watching my videos, I, I, you know, I, I am an online marketer and I do also run a coaching academy. So I provide one-to-one -one coaching to, to members that want to get a leg up and want to get results quickly. And one of my members, surprisingly, turned around a couple of days ago, just in a general conversation, said, yeah, but Leo, you have the success you have because of the circles that you, you move in. And I, I actually thought I misheard it. I'm like, can you, would you mind running that by me again? And the person was like, you have the success that you've had in your first year of marketing online because of the circles you move in. And first of all, I was floored, was not expecting that. And secondly, I was quite offended by it. Until, and, and I didn't really pass any comment because I knew I needed to process that, but, I did actually gently, kindly call the person out and saying that's absolutely not true and here's why it's not true. That person was looking at what she saw, what she saw in the end result. And yes, I have built up this beautiful lifestyle in, in a year, been in the online space where, you know, I don't flash, you never see me flashing things, cars, homes. I don't do it. It's not me. It wasn't before I came into the space and it's just not me. But I do talk about the lifestyle. And yes, I have gotten to experience a certain type of lifestyle that running my own online business has brought me because it's brought me so much freedom. I get to work from home. I get to work from hotels. It's beautiful Ritz Carlton here. I've just been hanging out at the Westin on a couple of uh, coaching calls there. Uh, I think it's about two in the afternoon on a Thursday. I'm obviously walking on the beach. Not a whole lot else going on here because most people are in their jobs traditional bricks and mortar jobs but i really felt offended because that person that made that comment did not get to see the work that i put in the micro discipline that i put in to get to this point and i worked damn hard to get where i was it wasn't difficult but i worked hard i gladly got up at four in the morning this morning i was up at 4 30 because i choose to it's growing my business I show up every day. I genuinely show up to help, support, coach students. And I get to see 
this beautiful business I've created growing. I didn't get that because of the circles I was in. I wasn't in any circles. I showed up with the exact same blank white sheet of paper as every single person does. No different. But I had a determination. I was committed. I put in the work. I continue to put in the work. So here's my suggestion. Don't be so quick to, myself included, I got to remind myself, don't be so quick to put people on pedestals. You know, oh, I can't get to that. Yes, you can. You know, I used the analogy before. Elon Musk's, the Richard Branson's, they have the same 24 hours of the day that you and I have. They just use it differently. They weren't handed any of that. Far from it. And, you know, don't, don't be so quick to disqualify yourself and say, ah, but that's them. I can't. I can't have that or I can't get to that point. <laughs> really tell me, friends, yes, you can. You're, if you want it that badly and you're willing to put in the work to get it and you consistently show up and, you know, exercise that, where am I? Exercise that micro discipline, you will, whatever it is, whether it's working out, whether it's setting up an online business, whether it's reaching whatever goals you set. If you consistently put in that micro discipline, you will get to a point where it then becomes effortless. It's a state of flow. And that's where other people say, looking at you, <laughs> I can't do that. I want to be there, but I can't do it. You know, don't, underval don't undervalue the, what you bring to the table of life. It's all about setting clear goals, realistic goals, I will say, but clear goals of how you want your life to be a certain way and then reverse engineering those goals to say, well, this is where I want to be six months from now or a year from now. You reverse engineering it by saying, okay, what do I need to do today to get to that goal? What do I then need to do tomorrow? little bite-sized pieces because if you consistently put in those little bite-sized commitments that's when you get to your end goal that's it love to hear your thoughts uh, there's lots more i want to cover on this but i would definitely love to hear your thoughts so as always please drop any comments below wherever you're watching this would love to hear your feedback uh, definitely please share this like it with with your circle of family or friends uh, Click those notifications so I can keep keep the, these videos coming to you. Hopefully you continue to provide value, see value in them. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed, please do as I continue to grow this wonderful online space. Thank you all so much for watching. Send you a virtual fist bump. Cheers.